Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play FTL. I'm Nye, and joining me today is Z. Hello. So Z is joining to watch me fail. And to make fun of him. Now, the last time someone joined uh, a Let's Play of mine to watch me fail was when Nixu joined for uh, Golden Sun, where there was a running bet on that Nix would uh, drink a shot every time a character died. How many shots did he get to drink? Absolutely none. He said so sober I had to change the rules to make sure he'd actually drink every once in a while. Aw, that's kind of sad. But then... It was funny as hell, though. If the point is getting drunk, then you should kind of be sure of something before <laughs> you start the drinking game. Well, the point wasn't to get Nyx drunk. This, these were rules that Nyx put into play. Okay. I had nothing to do with them. But Nyx decided that he would, that these would be the rules he'd play. I agreed, because I kind of knew ahead of time that uh, Nyx wouldn't be drinking. And then, um... What... <laughs> the stupid thing is, what happened next, is that at a certain point where I knew that I would be... Or when I knew what the next actions would be in the game, I told Nyx, okay, we're changing the rules. From now on, if I get a gin, you drink. Nyx goes, okay. And then I passed through Super drunk. the... Um, yeah. I passed through... I forget which area of the game it is. Uh, it's, the, it's the game around the... Uh, around Babby. And um, I performed a series of actions that got me three gin in less than five minutes. You didn't take the... Uh... No. The character? Nope. Okay. There's a reason. So, have you, she have you seen the Areola Max before? Which, this ship? No, I haven't, actually. I was going to ask about that, but you started droning on and on forever. Well, I had to introduce this thing somehow. <laughs> Just bite me. So, the Areola Max is the Slug Cruiser Type C, as you may already be able to guess. And uh, the big deal with the Areola, Areola Max, it starts with Tier 2 doors, Standard Shield, Standard Engines... But, instead of getting a second weapon, it just starts with a regular chain one, uh, or a chain laser. It gets, a, it, dro they drop a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They drop, uh, sensors in exchange for mind control, and in exchange for Well, all hacking. slug ships drop sensors, but... But this one does it very specifically because they wanted to give you mind control and hacking. I see. So the general thing I tend to do with this ship, and I've only used the ship once. It was last episode, we did really well, and the only problem was we just started getting overpowered with damage. Uh, because the enemies had shields and I never got weapons to match it. But the thing I tend to do with this ship is, first I start with my standard uh, um, strategy, which is to get tier 2 shields and tier 2 engines right off the bat. Because reasons. And then, as soon as I get that going, then I go and I'm going to get the um, Tier 2 uh, Mind Control and Tier 2 Drones. Because what's that? Tier 2 Drones? Not Drones, sorry. Um, Hacking. I was about to say. Yeah, Hacking. And what that's going to let me do is the strategy that I just put into play when we fought that uh, Rocket Mantis that's ship. That's my favorite that. strategy once I get them, but I never actually started with the ship that had both. It's re it's really nice to have. Now this should be an easy fight. Yes, that's going to be the strategy on this ship. Then you get loads of resources just by capturing everything. Yeah, because the uh, when you do a full ship clear and kill all the enemies, uh, you're given between two and four times the standard amount of goods, or a chance at a, a weapon item something drop. Yeah, it tends to be a pretty good strategy. And I just, I like that the ship starts with it. The only thing I don't like is if I'm right about this, we only have one system slot open. So I have to choose, do I want cloaking, which I want, or do I want crew teleporter, which would be really good. Uh, I'd probably go with cloaking in this scenario. I'm probably going to. But the other but thing we have to... Availability is kind of, it depends on what you run into. That's true. Well, if I get Tier 2 shields... Oh, I have Tier 2 shields. That's done. But if I get Tier yeah. 2 shields and Tier 4 engines by the time we leave the sector, which hopefully I will, I can start focusing on things like weapons and other such by the time we uh, leave this... Uh, by, by the time we get into the next sector. I normally don't go engines first. What are you trying to do? Just make sure you minimize hull damage? Yeah, pretty much. 
the idea behind this start is that I minimize as much hull damage as possible, which means I have to spend less on hull damage in the future. Uh, we're I see. Going to not take that. This is a good ship to do it with, too, because you're going to be able to take out most things without any sort of combat upgrade. Right. It's just, it's spending time to not spend anything else. Or it's spending scrap now to not spend scrap later. Okay, against this ship, we need to take out his anti-drone first, because that will shoot down my hacking drone. Their weapons are offline, which is good. Temporarily. This ship couldn't hurt me anyways, but... I was trying to get them to fight each other, and that just didn't happen. So how much of a how much of the advanced edition have you actually played? Um, a fair bit. I've unlocked two or three of the uh, tier three ships, um, but I haven't played nearly as much as you have. It'd be hard to, honestly. Yeah, that would be difficult. I've played way, way, way too much of this game, and people are asking me to play Captain's Mod too. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but... What I really like about this strategy is that, depending on the build of the enemy ship, generally the O2 is either really hard to get to, or blocks off other areas of the ship. So by doing this, you force them to have to go into a place they don't want to have to go to fix something they don't want broken. And I think the, ch the chain laser is such an evil touch, too. I mean, the, uh, the weapon is so good, too, because you just keep on pounding at that spot, especially when they only have two, uh, or one level of shields. Yeah. Okay, you reacted. Just that back too. up. Better, uh, suck all the oxygen out. Yeah, unfortunately I missed, but luckily, uh, Chain Laser Mark III does not take long to refire. And it's down again. So one's fighting to get out, one's fighting... Okay, there it goes. Uh, oxygen should be at zero level. Yep, so now he's dying from it. He's never going to get it back up. Oxygen is at zero around the ship, and one of the nice things is because hacking locks the doors, no one can get into this room fast enough to fix it. It's a very slow strategy, but I love it. And see, this is the thing that irritates me about this ship specifically. We get... We're going to get so much crew member, and this could be such an amazing You're going to get boarding. so much crew member? Yes. Much crew member, many boardings. Amaze. <laughs> wow. But, um, there's going to be so many crew members that we're going to just have the ability to snag. But, uh, I only have the choice. Do I do boarding, do I do boarding or do I do cloaking? And cloaking is just so good. It really sucks to have to make that choice. Probably go to cloaking first. I want to say that's going to be my last system. I think you don't get, I, I don't think you can have another system after that. I'm not sure. This was an easy fight. Unfortunately, this ship is only blocking a sensor station, so all I'm getting out of this is just the scrap from this ship. And unfortunately, because of the number of empty beacons we caught, we're not gonna be getting much of anything in this sector. We're gonna get the tier 2 shields, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna have powered tier 2 engines, and that's gonna be about it. If that, because I'm, I'm getting nothing when it comes to scrap. And unfortunately, because the exit's sitting in a nebula, there isn't even a, an event at the exit. Yeah, so actually, that was a really bad Sector 1. That was really terrible. Let's go to, uh... Let's go to the Uncharted Nebula. <clears throat> Slugs like nebulas. Well, it's not only that, but it's also nebulas slow down the rebels, which means I get a lot more jumps, so I can try to catch back up after that really terrible Sector 1. One thing I'm really concerned about, though, is uh, my fuel. My fuel is really bad right now. So we're sitting at 6. I don't know where all of our fuel went. Because I know I didn't trade any of it away this time around. Can you break that, please? No? Okay, well, oxygen's down. And locked. Yep. Well, they, they're fighting it from both sides. It's not going to take them very long to get through it. Uh, do I want to take out their weapons? Do I care? That's the real question, is how much do I care about the weapons they have online? This thing... Well, actually, yes, I do want to take that out. Uh, 
you on my team. What I really love is that when you mind control one of their guys, because of the way mind control works, uh, the game doesn't, uh, well that's really unfortunate. The game won't, they'll just pass through the door that they had to break to get into in the first place. Yep, because they're technically one of your crew. Because they're technically one of that crew. And then it locks behind them, so when they try to go back in, they have to fight their way in again. Such an amazing thing. Yeah, I'm very fond of mind control. I, lo I love it too, especially especially against against Mantis, especially. Yeah. Because you're just guaranteeing that you're going to cause problems on their ship. So if we can get to a Mantis sector, believe me, I'll be using it immediately. Okay, that's one man down. This guy's going to die pretty quick. He's gone. How about you? How long are you going to last? Did you fight against the Mantis? Because that's going to make it la take longer. Or take less time. Things, reason, stuff. Okay. Oh, and we got... Ooh. Nice. We got a Zoltan. Uh, let's throw the Zoltan into shields. Excellent. And you can just go stand in here. I don't have a system to put this man on. Okay, uh, so that Zoltan definitely helps. That Zoltan alone is worth about 25 scrap at this point. Okay, this is really bad. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Okay, so what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Hold your breath, everybody. <laughs> For now, it won't take long. All I need to do is actually temporarily. You are going to help us. This is really cute. Check this out. Okay, congratulations. You took my shields down. Now do it again. No more weapon for you. Okay. Okay, guys, you can stop holding your breath. And now it's time for them to start holding theirs. Who said you're allowed to get your weapon back online? I didn't say you could get your weapon back online. He kind of decided on his own. Well, let me help change his mind. Okay. Good. They seem to be a little preoccupied with the weapons issue. Well, they're going to be become preoccupied with a couple more issues than that soon. Because I'm not going to allow them to do anything. Nope. Oh, and there's a fire, too. Oh, that's terrible. So they got a fire to deal with. Oh, and their, their med bay's gone, too. Should probably stop firing. I really should. But I want to make sure that they can't just walk into the med bay. Because one of the problems is that uh, there are certain ways that the oxygen clear goes wrong. And one of the ways that happens fastest is if they either have a med bay that's level 2, which they do. Even level 1 med bays can cause problems. Um, or if they have a uh, crew cloning bay. I had a... Uh, ship last run that I was facing, it had two rock crew in there, and uh, they were able to... The cloning bay did not recognize that because there was no oxygen in the ship, there's no way for the rocks to actually get into the O2 to fix it in time. So it kept on reviving them over and over and over, but it would never give me my win. So what I had to do is I had to turn off um, hacking, uh, which, when you do that, it unlocks the doors. Mm -hmm. So I had to turn off hacking, let them into oxygen to turn oxygen on, so that way I could have them break the shields, so that way I could, uh... Damn. Okay, that sucked. That way I could break the shields, and upon breaking the shields, then I could actually fight them and kill them. Oh. Yeah. It was it was a complete pain in the ass. Did not need to be... Did not need to happen. Really obnoxious. Where's your O2? There's your O2. Bet that took a while. It took forever. Like, it, it just, it took so long. Because it, part of the problem was it took me a long time to realize that I could actually do it. That turning off, um, damn. That turning off hacking would, uh, unlock the doors. So part of the problem was I just didn't know, that, know to do that. Okay, this guy's gonna teleport onto my ship. Good for you. No more oxygen. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, can we get oxygen, please? 
please? Thank you. I appreciate it. God. Oh, damn. I, I made him leave too quick. I find the computer takes out weapons a lot. And I also find that freaking fires do not ever end. Okay, you get out of that room. Until I can get oxygen back in there, which isn't going to happen. Oh, damn it. Well, this is bad. And this guy's dead, too. Good. Real good. Can you get in here and fix that? Please? Can you get in here to fix that? This is going so well. Well, they got a couple of really good hits, and I'm not be I'm not being allowed to fix them. Like, every time I get a person in to fix one of the problems that's happening, they either hit it with a missile, or oxygen Your mind them. control is up. Ugh, it's not going to really do much right now. Because I don't want to mind control him, because there's kind of no point. What were you doing? You are my weapons dot guy? Get back in there and help fix weapons. They're going to run out of missiles eventually. That's my strategy right now. Wait until they run out of missiles. That's not the best strategy. <laughs> it is one of the only strategies I have available to me. Okay. We're, I mean, we're the thing is, we're going to win. The problem is, I'm just going to take a lot of damage doing it. Would you stop breaking that? I mean, really. See, he's out of missiles. I win! As terrible as it is. Good job. Right, good job, me. Well, this is one of the downsides of this ship. It only has one point in weapons, and as soon as that one point goes away... Or two points in weapons. As soon as those two points go away, bad things begin to happen. Okay, they did have a tier 2 O2. And we missed, so... The row two's coming back online a little bit. God, stop missing! I don't know why they have so much evasion. Yay, that guy's gonna die soon. Let's make sure of it. And no, you can't have that either. Wow. They have, like, no health. Uh, can I snipe him? Almost. What else do you have? Eleven? I probably can snipe him. Can you go in this room? Okay. Yep, sniped. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Like, the guy is kaput. He is no more, but they're offering me a surrender. That's amusing, but their surrender has four fuel in it. It does, that is true. Honestly, I will take the scrap instead. All right. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, these guys can't actually hurt me. They also can't stop me. No! You hit it! You hit the hacking drone! I love that it gets in there anyways. Okay, who is going to be on my team? You. Did you know that uh, even if the... Or, you know how the... If the thing that you're hacking is broken, you can't hack it? Yes. Were you aware that if you if it's still being hacked as you break it, it'll still work? I did like, not know that. The hack will still continue? They've got two guys on oxygen. Uh, one guy and one repair drone. I have disabled the repair drone. So he's kind of working on that. This guy's going to be my next mind control target because I don't want their drones coming back online. Oxygen's up. No, it isn't. That sounds like something that happens to other people. The constant problem with this strategy is specifically not killing them on accident. That door's open, that door's closed. Okay. Oxygen's gone, now his health is dropping. He might be able to get oxygen back online before I kill him. But you've got hacking ready to uh, deal with that. Yep. He's just going to stand in this room with no oxygen in it. Good job, you. Keep up the good work. Oh, just look at that. Six fuel. Lucky. Yeah. Was kind of counting on it, though. 
Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade... Hmm, hacking or mind control? We're going to start with mind control. Because we only need level 1 hacking just to withdraw um, oxygen. But level 2 mind control lets me do this. Also, they have missiles. I'm not happy about this revelation. Can we take out those missiles, please? That didn't take out their missiles. That one missed. Good. Please take them offline. Damn it. That missed. Good. Everybody hold your breath. We need better dodge chance. Good, their missiles are offline. Uh, they still got to smack you with one, though. That's true. That's fine. I'm going to get their mantis to smack them for me. What you shouldn't have left there? that room, Mr. NG. They never get back in there again. Oh, that's lovely. They will get to hit me with one more missile, looks like. Nope, they missed. Oh, I killed the NG, too. Didn't quite take out the missile, though. Good. Ow, and he got my missiles. That's fine. Oh, he got my sh uh, weapons. That's fine. Um. <sighs> that mantis is a little bit, uh. I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, there we go. Okay, he did what I wanted him to do. He did exactly what I was hoping he would do. So he stopped trying to repair the weapons and instead decided to go for the uh, oxygen. And he is not going to be able to repair the oxygen in time to save himself. <coughs> hmm. Yep. So he is all kinds of boned. He's going to die in four oxygen. Wow, he died before that. Nice. Free hole smasher laser. So what I need now is I need a shop because I have a ton of equipment that I don't actually want. Repugnant? Arm the weapons! You don't call me repugnant. That's unacceptable. Yeah, uh, only I get to do that. You. Join my team. <laughs> I do always love that joke. Um, the question is, what do I value more right now? Do I value the dodge chance against the missile, or do I value the shield? Moot point. <coughs> missile, please? God damn it. Here, you walk into this room. Hang out here for a little bit. Pretty much. Uh, now let's take the point out of that, and put that into here. Ah, you don't get to leave that room. This guy has no health, by the way. God damn it! Stop blowing holes in my ship. Literally. And no more oxygen for you. How is he still alive? Uh, you, join my team. You have no health. Why don't you just walk into here? Okay, we're good. Now, I think I just demonstrated it, but I'm not entirely sure uh, if I did it right. But, um... Oh, cool, I killed one of their rocks. Uh, one of the things that, that I've been told, and I think... I think it's true, but I've never actually seen it in action, is that if a Zoltan is in a room with a broken uh, system... As long as there's enough power in the system, their power will restore the broken system while it's being repaired. I'm not sure on that one. I've never had a chance to actually force the issue. Usually a Zoltan I have is like on shields, for example, and I don't want him out of shields, so I never take him out of shields. Okay, it's race against the clock, Mr. Ares. Do you have enough time to repair that oxygen before you drop down another 15 percentage points? I think your taxi is here for you. And someone leaning on their horn outside. Oh, okay. That's about 11. right. Okay. Mr. Ares is not gonna die. 
Well, I mean, he is, but he isn't. Goodbye. More fuel. Um, I think we're gonna hold on to... Yes, it's a store! We're gonna hold on to the scrap that we have. You needed that. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, the fuel is really good for me. The store is even better, though. What do they have? Crew teleporter. We're gonna wait on that. We're gonna sell... Okay, What the question is, what do I want to sell? I'm gonna sell the hull laser, because I'm not gonna use it. Do you need both those Hermes? No. What I'm trying to decide is if I want to sell one of the Hermes. What I'm thinking is the small bomb only costs one, one power. What I'm thinking is to get one small bomb to help me with shields in the future. I small prefer bomb to have... and not an ion stunner? Ion stunner doesn't fire fast enough to take shields down. I'm talking about actually to remove shields, not to temporarily remove one layer of shields. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to sell the Hermes. Because the problem is it requires three... No, you know what? We're going to keep the Hermes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the Hermes. Mostly because I want Hermes to get his groove back. And... Yeah, we're going to go this way. What I think is going to happen is if we face a ship that has that much... Um... No, we're going to attack this ship. If we face a ship that does have that much, uh, that many shields, we'll just switch off the chain laser and change to the Hermes. Don't think it's going to be an issue, but, yeah, these guys can't even damage me. That's wonderful. I love when that happens. And these two are fighting. Now come along, I can send you two to marriage counseling. Believe me, you'll be fine. I just this is what I this is this is what I really want. I want to be able to mind control a guy through multiple layers of shields. Uh, I we may have to get the uh, Zoltan shield bypass to kind of force the issue. But a uh, mind control through multiple layers of shields, and then um, they can take down the shields for me. But the problem is that if there's more people on the ship that can stop them from taking down the shields, uh, they'll fight them instead. So I need a way to actually break shields just in case. You really need mind control level 3 to make sure they smash it, too. Well, that's something I'm going to get soon. But I also want hacking level 2 because that will deplete that oxygen that much faster. Which is also very useful. I mean, re realistically, right now, we don't even need to hack most of these ships. I'm doing it just to speed things up. But we could just break their O2 by itself. Yes, he died in it. We can just break their O2 and just keep them out of it. But the automatic locking doors helps. This guy should die pretty quick. Yep. So the question is... Let's go ahead and just jump to the exit. We're not going to spend these, this 50 scrap yet. Let's see what's my next sector going to be. More uncharted nebula or NG controlled? I think more uncharted uh... nebula. Yeah, you need to grab as mu as many jumps as you can, probably. That's what I'm thinking. Just kind of force as much scrap out of this system as I can. Especially because the first sector did not want to give you any. Yeah, we're still we're still kind of behind, I think, in a lot of ways. Uh, this guy could hurt if I don't stop him. I don't think we have enough evasion to really stop. Okay, never mind. The beam weapon fired first. Excellent. Okay, he's good. He is charging his FTL, though. Not good. Can we take that out, please? Nope. You could probably got one more shot. Uh, with the chain laser, the chain laser is up to plus three now. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's see if we can take out their engines next. You know what I really want to see? I would like to see a goddamn um, Vulcan cannon. I never get them, and every time I get them, I always lose. Ooh, we got a stun bomb. Well, there may be some correlation. There, There is. There is entirely a correlation to that. <clears throat> Whenever I get them, 
I try to use them, and generally I try to use them in bad situations. Okay, what, uh, let's see. You're gonna join my team. And we will go ahead and hack oxygen. See, this is the type of ship I have trouble with. Just because he has two, le two levels of shields. So right now, there's actually no way for me to damage this ship. I can't get through to his shields or anything like that. And he has a med bay. Damn. Okay, well, we'll spend a missile for this. Good job, you. Uh, can you go deal with that? Yes, that. He's a rock, not a person. That's just plain rude. I think it'd be more rude if I kind of, like, implied that he was something else. You, join my, fi join my fight. Ooh, yes! Fire. Fire good. Prime Minister of Malaysia, bad. Shoot that. Thank you. Now, hopefully what's going to end up happening is that they're going to have be too busy with this mind-controlled rock. Nope, never mind. This guy's going to teleport over. Let's go ahead and fight him. That's the best idea he ever had. I love it when they do that, too. Your mantis is going to eat it, though. Uh, he might. There we go. And the guy teleported back over. Okay, so their oxygen is way low. They are getting their med bay back online, which irritates me. Uh, you fight him. Yeah, they're not gonna, they're not gonna stop the oxygen thing. They are gonna kill their other crew member. And they're going to try to get that medbay back online. They're going to sit in it. So, the question is what they try to do. Oxygen is going to hit zero. And they're... See, the problem is their shields are not online. So, I don't have a... Ch I only get one shot at this. It looks like they're not... If they go here... He's going to try to fix it. He's going to die. He doesn't have a chance to fix it. And because he went... No, he left before the room... Okay. This is what's going to happen. You stop him from repairing that. And are you going to... Yes, you'll die. Excellent. And another goddamn Hermes missile. That is the third Hermes missile we have gotten. That's just 17 different types of stupid. More and more credits. True. Uh... We did lose Cremity, and unfortunately, we have to stay losing that character. We don't get to get it back, which kind of sucks, because that was my pilot. What's the positive on that event? Um, that one was the neutral. Uh, so the positive on that is you just gain credits. Okay. And uh, you can force the positive by having an NG or having a... Wow, that is a very frightening ship. Jesus. Um... So the positive is uh, have an NG or a rock, and you just gain a bunch of stuff. The neutral is without an NG or a rock, you gain a bunch of stuff, but it potentially lose a crew member. And unfortunately, you're not allowed to get that crew member back, even if you have a uh, a crew cloning bay. I which see. Which is the problem. So I lost my guy, and I'm not allowed to bring him back. Which just really sucks all around. But I'll live with it. Gonna try to, uh, wow, they have, they have, wow, these guys have level 3 oxygen. Okay. This guy's gonna try to repair oxygen. I'm gonna try to hijack him instead of letting him do that. No. There's a fire in there, too, so that's gonna take the oxygen out of this room. Uh, even, and it's not gonna be able to replace it, because oxygen's dead. So that's gonna work really well. And he's gonna take down shields for me, which is actually a bad thing. Because it means I'm not going to be able to snipe as easily. But level 3 mind control. Definitely a thing. Okay. So he's going to repair uh, 
He's gonna repair shields. The only problem here is that I can't see what's going on on that ship. I can't see what their oxygen level is because I don't feel like using a, uh, um, using a drone to look at oxygen. But if I had to make a guess, their ox their oxygen should have uh, their um, this room should have no oxygen, which is absolutely correct. This room has no oxygen, which means that this room will probably have no oxygen very soon. It's very it's very hard to tell how close. Okay, he did break their uh, their shields. He's kind of moving all around. Okay, auction is now empty on that ship. Good. He's a real go-getter. Well, he's mind controlled. We kind of told him, "Hey, we want you to work for us." And he's just going to die momentarily. Yep. And hey, look, that guy that I lost. We got another one. Just go stand in here. Didn't say. get a slug, but I'll didn't work. get a slug, that's true. But it's I can, I'm happy with one slug and maybe two slugs, but three slugs is a bit much. I don't need three slugs. Because I don't think there's any a bit, any blue option in the game that relies on having more than one slug in the first place. Can you... Yes, good. Can you take out that weapon for me? Please? Pretty, pretty please with sugar on top. Not fast enough, unfortunately. Luckily, nothing important got hit. Apart from my ship. Like I said. <coughs> Remind me to rename someone Z next time, and we'll talk about important people getting hit. All the right. Fant the fantastic thing is, uh, oh man, that uh, that mantis almost took out both of the other crew members. That would have been amazing. Yeah, I think we're not going to upgrade hacking for now because the only thing I'm using hacking for is just for the locked doors ability. Hi, join my team. Don't fix oxygen. That would be a bad thing. You have no idea how much I want a crew teleporter right now. Just to go in with a crew teleporter when they have a level 3 mind control there just causing problems. Oh, god damn it. When did you get that back online? No, you're not allowed to have weapons. Put them away. Stop firing shit at me. When did I... I thought I closed that door a long time ago. Apparently not. Apparently. Apparently you like being hit. Apparently I like having no uh, oxygen in the oxygen room. It's kind of bizarre, but you know. All of us have our kinks and fetishes. Apparently one of mine is I don't like to breathe. I hear that's a big one. Apparently. I hear George Carlin talked about it a lot. Ha, ah, you're dead. It's really popular amongst my enemies. See, this one? Dying from being unable to breathe doesn't give a damn. Goodbye. And now we get an ion bomb. In fact, he thinks it's great. Actually, I'm completely okay with an ion bomb. That is really all kinds of helpful. Let's go ahead and uh, pump up shields. And we're gonna explore down this direction. But an ion bomb does exactly what I would want the uh, Hermes missile to do. Specifically, just takes down shields temporarily. So, that's awesome. And this is the exact same ship we just faced, except for the weaponry. And they just got the NG, which is awesome. <coughs> this time, I don't think they can even hurt you. Yes! No, they can't hurt me. And our Mantis did indeed take out both of the opponents. So, there's only one man left on that ship, and I'm about to snipe him. Yep, and tons of fuel, which I was ho uh, hoping for. Awesome. Yeah, that was... Like, when it comes to really good events and ship layouts, that one was one of the better ones. And we were talking about what I would do with an ion bomb. But we have not discussed what I would do for a Klondike bar. Okay, Do you subject your uh, viewers to that sort of thing all the time? What sort of thing? Your, uh... quote-unquote sense of humor? Apparently some of them like it, and God help them. 
I don't know why, but uh, apparently people subscribe for that. Don't ask me. I only work here. Okay, so we did take down the row too. It's on fire as well. No more shields for you guys. No more weapons for you guys. And you're on my side. Oh god. This is so wrong. This this is so bad. He's not going to be able to put that fire and he's going to cook alive in there. And this guy's mind controlled so he has no way to help him. That's terrible. Hey, his shields are back up. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter now though. His weapons are offline. The only guy who can do anything will be mind controlled until now. But now he doesn't have time to actually repair anything that would cause an issue. Yeah, it's time to repair that, but it's going to kill him before he can do it. Mm -mm. He'd need a lot long. Uh, his auction would have to be around 30 in order to repair it in time to save himself. Now, if there was oxygen in that room, that would be slightly different. But because that room is devoid of oxygen, yeah, he didn't get anything done. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to the store. I got stuff to sell. And what do you got? An automated reloader. That looks beautiful. He has cloaking too, but I'm not going to be able to afford that. Stun bomb goes away. Hermes missile goes away. Buy the automated reloader. Fix my ship. Let's go look over here. That was a really productive shop. Hacking. Mm, yeah, but that costs a drone. Nah, let's kill him. Let's see. I think by pumping up level 3 shields, he shouldn't be able to hurt me. Though that might be a dual laser on the right. I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's basic or dual. Dual. Okay. Well, that's gone. And this one isn't the type of guy who's trying to run from me, so I'm not going to have much of an issue. And it is a, um, it is a auto-scout, so they're not going to make the decision to run. They're just going to sit here and shoot at me. No more weapons for you. And because we have the automated reloader now, the chain laser fires that much faster, so it is a lot more effective at taking stuff down. Which is awesome. And he's dead. So I get his stuff, 32 scrap. And I get a whole repair drone off the off the station. Which is kind of nice. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I should have time to make it here and then make it to the exit. Okay, what do we got? So this rebel ship was waiting for me. That was intensely stupid of them. Mm -hmm. And they just jumped onto my ship. They just, they're, they're making these stupid decisions over and over and over. It's like they really don't want to be alive anymore. I agree with you. Uh, you join my team. And the cool thing about this... Is that I have just enough power that I can squeeze from uh, system to system to mind control. Which means they're going to take out their own ship for me. One of their weapons just went offline, but unfortunately it wasn't the one I wanted offline. Namely, either of the ones that are actually active. Okay, shields just went back online on their ship. Which means I can't get through it right now. We were low on oxygen for a second there. Okay, I need one of you two to be on my team now. Uh, how about you? Good. Their shields are back down to level one. I love the I love the way the computer prioritizes things when they're in the middle of a plasma storm. Because what they'll do is they'll balance their weapons as best they can, and then they will change do I want that? No. They will change their weapon loadouts depending entire or on their their um <coughs> they'll change their power consumption based entirely on what is up and what is down at any given point in time. Yep. So if you bring one thing on or one thing down, they will then repair something else. Which is, it's just it's a really stupid way for the computer to act. Good, we got a fire in here. 
Now, unfortunately, they do have the med bay online, so what we're going to need to do is... Okay, he's going to try to fix that. Hopefully, he will not be able to fix that. Good, he will not. The fire is going to cook him. Probably. This guy's going in here. There must be no oxygen in this room. But I don't think... I didn't hear a breach happen. Okay, so there's no oxygen in this room, so... Even though I do not have the, uh... I don't have... Yeah. Even though I don't have the, um... Damage that I can deal to them... To take down their med bay, I should still be able to win. Come on, cl door close, close door, close, close... Yes! Okay, he's dead. If that door stayed open, he would have been able to get out and go to the med bay. But because it closed, he's boned. Goodbye. And the AI continues to be stupid. It's not stupidity on the AI's part. It's just there's very specific behaviors the AI does follow that you can abuse if you know what you're doing. So it's not that the AI is being stupid. It's that I'm abusing certain rules that I know about the AI. The fact that they will repair something very important to them to the point of death if it looks like they need to. But if they start getting excessively damaged, then they'll run. But if that door were to close before he could run, there will be nothing he can do. And that's exactly what ended up happening. I'll go here then. I don't think I have anything to sell this time. Um, hmm. You help me. This guy's going to teleport. All the power to him. Nope, never mind. He's going to go and fight this guy. I should be able to sneak a shot through when uh, they get hit by uh, asteroids. Which is also the thing they're planning on doing to me, so we don't want to let that happen. Whoop, I missed. And one of their rocks just died. And this one's trying to take down their shields. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of want their shields to stay up. I wouldn't mind their weapons going offline, though. Ouch, they just got my oxygen. Let me rephrase that. They didn't get anything, an asteroid got my oxygen. And they have oxygen level 3, so I'm not going to be able to just easily be able to take that down. I need to take out their shields first. Uh, what do you need to kill the other guy? Okay, so this guy's apparently going to be allowed to run rampant throughout their ship. They're not going to try to stop him. Fire in the shields doesn't matter because they're a rock ship, so they get to ignore uh, fire. But, good to have. And their oxygen is about to go offline. And they've got so much to deal with, they're not going to be able to stop it. Now this is kind of an issue. They have the ability to damage me, which I don't like. But I well, that's don't... always something, you know. There we go. That would be weird if you did like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the big the big issue with it is that I don't know if I'm going to be able to asphyxiate them without destroying the ship. Wow, that was such luck. <laughs> Looks like uh, it took care of itself. Well, an asteroid. You're on hit auto them. fire, though. You should probably turn uh, that off. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not firing. I, I took the targeting out. Um, a fire did hit the, or an asteroid did hit them in their oxygen, but at the exact same time, or their, but their ship resisted the hit. A fire then caused the oxygen in this room to go away because the fire ate all the oxygen. So there's no oxygen in this room. So I can't deal damage to him, but he has no way of, of, of repairing this in time. So this guy will be dying in about 10 seconds. Yep. Might go to the didn't store. get a lot out of that, honestly. I got a ton of stuff. Oh no, it's a fearsome pirate. Uh, that is a heavy laser mark one, I believe. Um, you, my team. That's a heavy laser mark one, I think. Not that it matters. Nope, mark two. That's right, because it has the bottom thing. You still can't do anything to you? Still can't do anything to me. That's why I tend to get shields up uh, faster than I get, um, than I get weapons up. 
mostly be or, or not weapons but um engines because you're it feels like you're more likely to be able to benefit from shields than anything else oh I'm gonna go ahead and just fire on their oxygen I'm gonna miss but we'll do that right now we're gonna get more kills based on um mind control than anything we'll just cause people to have issues on their ships they'll kill all of their crew for me for example they'll kill the crew for me and then I just have to deal with that one guy this guy's name is, this is a rock and his name is fleshy hmm. that seems a little bit wrong his parents had a strong sense of irony okay their auctions down who's my shields guy shields are maxed uh, piloting is maxed engines engines are maxed excellent <coughs> okay that guy's dead are you going to try to go heal? What are you going to do? Uh, enough with your cloak. Okay, I'm just... I, I just don't want to have to spend any more drones for this. I don't think I'm going to have to, either. Okay, he's going into oxygen, but... Nope! I think they have... Weapons instead. I think they have roughly 70% oxygen left. Just based on the color of the room. I get deeper as it goes. So I want to say that's somewhere around there. Okie dokie. It's going to probably be more like 50%. He's get, I don't know why the computer... Okay, now there he goes. Now he's going to try to fix the oxygen. And he might be able to but I think I'm going to be able to mind control him again before he has a chance to fully fix it. I've gotten really lucky that I haven't had to deal with a Zoltan ship yet. Nope, go away. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, they just hit 0% oxygen. And he's going to be mind controlled long enough that uh, it's going to kill him. Unfortunately, the mind control did boost his health by an additional, like, 30. I think it's a 20% health boost, so it should be by 30. Oh, well. He's got no chance. Yeah. No chance to survive, make his time. Ugh. Not that he can make his time, because he's not in control of himself. Huh. My control ends just before he dies. Store. I like it when that happens, because they can fully appreciate their situation for a split second. You're a more whole person than I am. And that takes work. Well, I do put a lot of work into it. Mm, yeah. Oh, uh, what am I going to do? Let's go ahead. Nope, don't want to do that. Is there a store within, another store within range? No. Okay, we're going to keep our scrap because I'm going for cloaking. And a ship fire drone for free. Nice. Try speaking? Uh, it's a, okay, see, this is where the problems start to happen. Uh, you need to help me. I don't want to. Not you. I know you won't help me. You'd love watching me get screwed. I think I'm probably going to need to make sure I have at least a 40% of a chance, though. You couldn't take out that weapon. God damn it. Of course that hit. Okay. Can we... Can we... Please, can we hit and take down that missile? Nope, okay, good to know. Take down take down the shields. Take down that missile. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ugh. Now they have no oxygen. Apparently I have a fire somewhere. Right there. Go away, fire. Nobody wants you here. I love that they have an anti-personnel drone. That just makes my life so much easier. Right? AP drone uh, starts to work in your favor once you've got someone mind-controlled. Yep. Well, it means that I'm not going to have to wait for oxygen to run out in order to kill them. I'm just going to have to mind-control him one more time, and when I do that, the AP drone will come out and kill him. Fantastic. Let's wait patiently. 
Well, you, that's all you do with this ship. That is all you do. You just wait patiently all day long and occasionally do something interesting. I think things Sounds like all of your let's plays. Ah, you leave me alone, you. I I occasionally Oh <laughs> wait, what? He walks into the drone bay in order to fight this. That's good, you. Wonderful. You know what happens to an anti-personnel drone when it's standing in a drone bay? I don't actually. It heals itself. The the drone bay is the med bay for drones. So what happens is it sits there and gains health. Exact so it's exactly like fighting opponents in their med bay. Oh, hello, son. And intruders on board. That's cool. I have level I have level two doors that are manned. By all means, guys. Just start screwing around in my ship. I'm just gonna ignore you, and we're gonna leave the sun. I'm probably gonna have to pay for that soon. Um, they don't have anything that can hurt me, so we're going to go ahead and attack the Slaver Scum. And, uh, they're all... Hmm. You're going to get mind control. <laughs> it's two Zoltan in a mind-controlled rock. That's bad. Yeah, these two are going to get killed before they have a chance to do anything to me. Strike that. Move into this room. Now they're going to die. Goodbye. Uh, the one downside is that the enemy does have uh, bombs. You get in here. You get in here. Okay, I'm, all, I'm down to three missiles. I'm not happy about this. Which kind of bomb is that? Ion. It's ion. Uh, they still doesn't look, still looks like they can't hurt me though, so I'm not gonna use my own ion bomb. Instead, can you take down their shields for me, please? Would greatly appreciate it. Just one level. Don't need more than that. The rock's gonna keep him from doing it. Hmm, probably. But the rock's gonna have to run away because the Zoltan is uh, does have more damage because he is uh, mind controlled. So the rock will have to run away, and the Zoltan may be able to do a little bit damage. Maybe no, damn the other Zoltan came in. Uh oh, come on, there's my chance. Ah, damn, it didn't happen. They almost took it down, but it just didn't quite happen. Now what may happen is if I can get the rock in that room. Which doesn't happen. The rock's gonna stay in weapons. That's fine. I just I missed my chance. I saw that the shields went down momentarily and didn't fire fast enough. It's cool. We're just gonna have to be patient about this. It will happen, and I won't have to use one of my limited number of missiles. And there is a store nearby, so I'm gonna be able to go there and get cloaking. I think if they have cloaking. So we're in a very strong position right now. There it is. Okay, we did damage to it. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't do enough. Apparently what happened is that the... It's the same thing that happens to human ships. When you have... Excellent. What's happening is the Zoltan are leaving that room. And when they leave that room... Oh, sorry, not human ships, but player ships. When the Zoltan leave that room, what happens is that they take the power with them. And it goes down and for a temporarily moment. Temporarily, it goes down. Just enough time for me to get a shot in. Which is fantastic. I love that that actually works on their ships, too. Because it's something I've always disliked about how Zoltan work, and I've complained about in the past. And yes, I took down that Zoltan. Okay, they only have one man left on their ship. Uh, they're offering me a Zoltan. It's a pretty good after offer. Yeah. I'm actually going to accept this one. Because one free floating power is worth a lot for me. Okay, uh, we need to go to the store next. We have to go through this sector first. I feel like Zoltan are probably the strongest crew members. Uh, you know what their new effect is, right? The new thing that they do, thanks to this patch? Uh, no, I don't. 
So what happens is if a Zoltan dies in a room, if they die at all, they cause an area of effect explosion in their room, which deals, I think it's 15 damage to all surrounding enemies. Interesting. It's really powerful. So what you do is you throw a Zoltan uh, into, or with a cloning bay, you just throw them into combat. Because there's no incentive not to do so. This is going to be another bit of a waiting game, but luckily they don't have a med bay, so all I have to do is get another uh, mind control in these shields, and I'll be able to take them out. That's kind of concerning. That is incredibly concerning. I need their shields to go down. Really bad. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Damn it. Really, really bad. Can we take out that? Can we take that out, please? Shields, shields go away. Please. Anytime now. Just get those shields down to zero. So they have a uh, ion charger, and uh, they were able to get my shields down with it. But I have not been able to get their shields down yet. Is he gonna kill him? No, we almost got him. That was so close. We almost had him. What a shame. Mm hmm. Actually, you know, I, in my head, I'm, I'm hearing the announcer's voice from Wave Race. Did you ever play Wave Race? Nope. Oh, damn. It had this... It was just this uh, jet ski game from uh, the N64. And um, it was just annoyingly hard to, hard to win. Uh, I, I can't remember why exactly. I just want well, to say if it's N64, that would explain why I haven't played it. I think it was just the uh, the controls just didn't work amazingly well or something like that. So, <laughs> but if you, whenever you lost, this, like, uh, this announcer would just come up and go, you almost had it. And you had to listen to that. And it, it sounded so sarcastic at times. So you had to listen to this every single time you failed to win a race. Which just... It was almost demoralizing. Okay, so he's no longer in shields, unfortunately. Luckily, he is going to break this for me, but... I don't feel like using a bomb. I, I just don't. I don't feel like using a bomb to, to get into here. So I'm hoping that he'll It'll break It'll take a shields. while, but... Yeah. Well, luckily, he actually broke the cockpit, so he's not going to want to go back to the cockpit yet. He's going to want to stay in shields for a while. Well, his dodge is gone, so you could bust through the shields yourself, couldn't you? I don't have a weapon to do it with, because I only have the Hermes and the Ion Bomb, both of which I could have used up until this point to bust the shields, but it would require using a missile. The, th the reason why I'm glad he broke the cockpit is that now he's going to... The cockpit's already broken... So when I mind control him, now he should go directly to the shields and start breaking them. Instead of breaking the cockpit first. I see. And now he's got no person to fight with, so he's just going to sit there and break the shields for me. It does, it's taking forever, but he will eventually get this done. Unfortunately, they did break my mind control, so this may take even longer because he's not going to be mind controlled for as long. Irritating. Really irritating. And damn it, he didn't do a he didn't do a ton of damage to that, so he's already off of that. The fact that that hit exactly when it hit, just and where it hit. If it had hit like my hacking, I would have been happy. But it had hit my mind control. You are you getting? Holy crap! That is okay. That is impressive. Do you know that Zoltan, who we got last jump, who we just put on engines? Yes. He's already maxed out. That is pretty impressive. Okay, can you take down those shields anytime soon? You should have more damage than this. Thank you. Now we can get in there and we can actually deal some damage. <coughs> I don't intend to break their ship, but I want to make sure they can stop dealing damage to me, which is exactly what I just did. And I should be able to snipe this rock. Maybe. Well, I set a fire in there. Does that help? How much health do you have? You have 90 health. Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh, no, not that. That. 
Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to flat snipe him, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to get rid of his oxygen. Nope, never mind, he's gonna kill himself. Well, that sucks. Maybe mind control will wear off before he kills himself? Mm. Yep. Oh, how lucky. Well, he, now he's gonna fix... The thing is, he's gonna fix weapons, and once he fixes weapons, he's probably gonna go directly to oxygen. And that's, you know... No, um, he's not. He's going for shields. Yeah, looks like... I mean, I don't care what he fixes now, because I'll, my only goal is to stop him from fixing oxygen, which is exactly he where he's going. To oxygen. Oh, no, he's stopping a fire back here for some reason. Why is... Why would you... Why? I don't understand his logic there. Oh, he just died. Okay. Um, sure, I'll take an extra crew member for no reason. How the heck did he survive? Well, he was on the ship that I just saved. Oh, okay. So I saved a ship, and that's who they get. That's what they gave me. Hey, look, cloaking. Just go ahead and buy that. Yes, I'm aware that's my system's final final slot. Kind of unfortunate, but I will live with it. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade upgrade uh, cloaking immediately. Excellent. Okay, Level two I, cloaking makes such a difference. It's so amazing. Um, let's go ahead and get some more missiles and a drone. Because I'm using them a lot. And then we'll go to the exit. So our hello, ship son. is a... Uh, oh, hello, rocks. <laughs> Why did I choose to ha to do with that particular guy? Nobody knows. Yeah, I don't know. That's surprising. That's a twist. Twist endings! Okay, this one I'm actually gonna ion bomb. Okay. Solar flare coming in. Oxygen is as usual gone. You two go fix oxygen. It's on fire too. Well, they have a fire to deal with. Unfortunately, they're rocks. That doesn't really mean much. They got more fires to deal with. Our oxygen's back online. Uh, I didn't want to cloak, but sure, it's fine. Oh God! Not opposed to cloaking. Uh, their, their ship. That fire's gonna destroy them. Yeah. Let's just kill them now, just so we can leave. Unfortunately, that flare happened before I could get out. Okay, uh, you get here. Looks like it didn't do too much, though. It set a fly- it did set a fire in my piloting. Uh, we got a free anti-personnel drone. Let's go ahead and get a point of power. Speaking of which, your piloting is going to be uh, really vulnerable if you leave it with one hit point. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's very true. I got nothing else to say. That. That's very true. That almost burnt down. If you hadn't jumped away in time, that sun would have given you a lot more damage. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah. I mean, it's... That's very true. It's very vulnerable. But I can stop that vulnerability in a lot of other ways that does not involve spending scrap to upgrade piloting. I tend to do that towards the end when I have spare scrap and I'm just upgrading stuff before the final boss. Is that's when I go and I upgrade weapon or I'm not weapons, but uh, um, cockpit because that's when it actually starts mattering. This is probably gonna hurt. How fast can you guys put out that fire? There's only one fire in there? Okay, good. We win! No, there's a fire somewhere else. Could be in here. Now get out of there. I don't know where this other fire is, unfortunately. It's it's in one of the rooms that doesn't vent. Uh, fuel for drones now. Okay, let's go looking for it. With you. There it is. Okay. Now I know what to vent. Okay, let's unvent that. Um, that's a store. How much do I care? I do. 
Okay, crap. Oh no, a store. Uh, well, it cuts off my jump options, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the backup battery. I never found too much of a use for that. Wait until you see how upgraded the ship is gonna be. What I generally do, uh, you join my team. What I generally do with the backup battery is, by the time the ship is fully upgraded and we're fighting the final boss, I'm typically running um, everything fully upgraded. And the problem with that is that when you're facing the final boss, you're, if you leave engines as the one that's unpowered, which is what I typically do, it's usually about four or so power that is unpowered on an engine. Luckily, a fully upgraded battery gives you exactly four power. So that's the use for it, is you're using it to, you temporarily pump engines when the, during the times you need to dodge something, and then that's all you do. That's terrifying. This, this right here. I'm not going to be able to dodge through it either, I don't think. Wait, wait, wait. Aha! Can you kill him, please? Thank you. I'm just kind of sitting here, unfortunately. I want him and his... Fire? I don't hear a fire. I want him to be in here. But he's decided he's going to take out their cockpit first. Annoying. This thing's going to fire off. Nope, there is a fire on my ship. I just don't know where it is. Okay, go searching for it. Not in there. That just went down. Fix that. Okay, this guy's having a lot of trouble on his ship. Can you guys put that out before it just... Nope. Okay. That's bad. Luckily, our dodge chance is kind of ridiculous. I kind of just want to kill this guy. It's probably for the best. Yeah. Supposedly, he's trying to fly away. Uh, yes, I will accept that offer, and we're out of here. He's dead anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'll totally lead these guys to where they're trying to go. Empty all of that of oxygen. And that, for good measure. So I don't know where all the fire is. Store. Uh, I don't really want to be going to the store because there's not really much I can do here. What do you have? God, I wish I could actually use that. Okay, uh, that burst laser mark two is really tempting. So I think I'm gonna get it. God damn it. Do I want to sell the slug repair gel is the question. It's either that or the ion bomb. But I think the ion bomb is actually worth a lot right now. It is. Slug repair gel is also worth it for the final boss, though. Maybe I can come back for it. Let's see. Is there a fight here? There is. Happy day. Okay, what are they actually going to power up against me. They're going to pay lots of stuff. Okay. Okay, we're going to dodge through this and this. I don't care too much about those. We are going to use an ion bomb on this. Uh, who's in the weapons? You're in the weapons, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take over you. This fight could go really badly. Look through that. Okay, let me, come on, let me take out their weapons. Let me take out their weapons. Come on, I do not want this precision mark three to do a lot of damage to me. Come on, come on, come on. Fire, fire. They're going to get a shot off. They only got half a shot off. Oh, God, that's, a lo that's lonely. Okay, it's done. It's done. The game just loves sending really powerful ships at you at Ion Storms. Yeah. And that's about right. It's something I understand. What did they fire at me? Crap. God damn it. Okay. That's bad. 
So there's an ion. Let's let him in. You get down here. Come on. Come on. Are you coming or not? No? Okay. Stay about there then. See what I can... Oh, damn. That's why he's not coming in. You deal with that. Break that. Thank you. So they have an ion intruder drone in my ship right now. Okay, they're killing each other. I'm probably going to be able to snipe this guy because he has absolutely no health. Yep, yep got, it. got him. And got the uh, got a ton of scrap too. The problem here is I don't like upgrading in the middle of uh, plasma storms. Cause I don't know. Where... Yeah, we're gonna wait until. Do I want to go to the store again? Do I want that weapon? Is the question. Mm. Is it worth a jump? Yeah. That gun is just, it's, the Burst Laser Mark II is so good. It's definitely worth it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade so I can actually use it. Like, the Burst Laser Mark II is probably the best for its value gun in the game. Do I want to go to this quest marker? Yes, I can... I should be able to make it. And I get stuff. Fine. Um, power. And good. What do I need next? <coughs> need repairs is what we need. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to upgrade your sensor subsystems. I don't have any. Oh, okay. Goodbye, then. It's almost never worth it to take that anyway. Oh, it is always worth it to, to, to take that offer. Really? 100. I always get screwed. No, 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 no. You're, you're, we're talking about a different... Um, you're talking about a different event. How? Oh. Uh, the, the event that just occurred is where they offer to upgrade your system in exchange for a very small amount of scrap. And it is 100% of the time worth it. Because it's always a lot less than you would have paid otherwise. Like, they might have, uh... Ow. They might have offered me, like, to upgrade my sensors for, say, 15 scrap, when to upgrade it at that time would be 35. Wow, they just hit the same spot twice with their missiles. That's irritating. And it's the one thing that would cause me to not take damage from their missiles again. God damn it. 45% dodge chance. 45 Take out their freaking missiles! You sound a little bit frustrated there. I am. It's... We're applying so much damage to their ship, and I can't get their missiles to go away. It, it feels so crappy. To be applying all this damage, and not only do they take out my... They keep applying hit after hit after hit to my, um... Cloaking, which is the best way for me to guarantee no damage to uh, me that way. But then also, every time I try to take down their missiles, they continuously do uh, either dodge or the missiles won't go down. They're offering me an automated reloader. Wow, that is one hell of a bribe. Yes, 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 and more yes. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a bribe that good before. I've seen uh, one I had had a uh, weapons pre-igniter. So I have seen a bribe as good. Oh god, that's so good! Actually, I think the only thing better than that would have been a weapons pre-igniter. Jump to the exit. Okay, we're in a really good place right now. Defend this outpost. What are they hacking? They're ha <laughs> sure, you do that. <laughs> Very cute. By all means, you have fun with that. Enjoy. Okay, that's kind of frightening. You I, might need to hack them just to get through. Nah, we have enough. We have enough power to get through. The question is, am, can I hit? And the answer is yes. Uh, I fire off five shots every 
think it's like seven seconds. That's why. That's one of the reasons why the bursts are so good. It only costs two. It fires off three shots. It charges very quickly. The only question is, uh, will you actually land the shot? Okay, fine. But also, chain, the, having the chain laser uh, Mark Three or chain laser like upgraded as it is. God damn. The problem is right now we're only hitting um we're only hitting two out of three shots right now. There we go. Shields are gone. And we're gonna continue making them go away. So this is basically the plan that we're gonna also be using against the final boss. And, and then does that actually work? Is that going to be enough? Well, I'm going to have the Ion Bomb active as well. And then we're going to... Wow! Thank you, game! We're going to hold on... Someone's deciding to make up for the Sector 1. Pretty much. We're going to hold on to this to the next Sector. Um, the Ion Bomb will take out their shields, so that's a thing. We're going to mind control the guy in the uh, missile launcher. That will take out the missile launcher for me. Then we'll be able to, with that much damage, then proceed to deal as much damage as possible to their entire ship. So, yes, it'll work. The question is, is there a way we can do to... Hi! God, I wish we could use that. Yeah. But we had to decide against that. Actually, we're going to hold on to that. I want a shop, and I want it to contain a um, Vulcan cannon. Come on, give me my Vulcan cannon. Yes, that will happen. It could. It could totally happen. Let's go to this store. Vulcan Cannon. Vulcan Cannon. Vulcan Cannon. Nope. <laughs> Actually, this is probably the shittiest store I could get. That store is so terrible. Three NGs. A med bay. And sensors. That is such a terrible store. Okay, what's over here? Uh... No, I'm not going to pay your goddamn toll. Are you kidding me? Oh, they're cloaking. Okay. So they have a um, heavy, uh, heavy laser Mark II. So it's going to fire two shots that could potentially take my shields down to one. They also have a halberd beam. This is the end of the list of the things they have that I care about. Because that fire beam's probably never going to get a chance to do anything. For a second there, I was going to say, why are they able to cloak for so long? Then I realized that I was on a uh, pause. Okay, cloak through that nonsense. And let's go ahead and shoot their shields. Okay, their shields are partially offline. Come on, Halberd Beam. Okay, their med bay is currently offline. And they're about to lose one crew member. Let's go ahead and put a point into oxygen. Not oxygen. Put a point into hacking, and we're going to hack their oxygen. So they have dropped to 57% oxygen just now. I love level 2 hacking. I can hack... I, hey, I can cloak too. I can cloak all you want. Uh, you be on my team. Okay, their med bay's offline. Which, for some reason, they're going to prioritize the med bay over stopping the human from wrecking things. I, I don't I don't understand the the point of that, but artificial stupidity. Pretty much. And they're still trying to get their oxygen back online. If they if he does fix it and he will, I'll be able to drain the rest of the oxygen before uh, hurting them. Good job, you fixed the oxygen. Congratulations! You did it! You did it. And the door's locked again because you left the room. Have a pleasant day. 
Well, they're cloaked up, because that's going to do something. The only guys left alive are in the med bay. That's not going to last long. What's going to happen is they're going to fix the med bay, and we're just going to shoot it again. That's a big surrender. Nope. And they're dead. Honestly, I think the surrender may have been worth it. Eh. I agree with you. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't do this. Don't make me deal with this. Don't make me do this game. Don't make me... I will do this. Um... Okay, so they got down to 44% um, oxygen after one hack off a of level 3 hack. That's, that's just... That is a terrifying amount of damage. Especially considering I'm about to do it again. Better do it fast, because you're about to get burned. Oh, we already got burned once. Okay, and... Their auction is now offline. In fact, the only thing on their ship that worries me now is their uh, mind control. Which I missed, unfortunately. Uh, you get on my team. You're the only guy alive on your ship. What was the point of uh, hypnotizing him there? To stop him from doing anything. That's it. Like it could have done anything. Eh, potentially he could have maybe gotten into that room to repair their oxygen before he died. That's it. Like, I don't really think there was much of a chance of him actually getting anything done, but I didn't want to take the chance. God damn it. Game, I hate you. No Vulcan cannon. I forget how much a Vulcan cannon costs. Okay, uh, that quest marker does rescue a store, so let's go there. I think I have another so a free system repair drone. Let's go ahead and upgrade cloning bay a little bit more. Everybody gets to heal up some more. Um, I think there's a store right here. Okay, so this could be good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Flak one. That's tempting. Flak one only costs two power. Or I can go to this quest marker and see if that store has a Vulcan cannon. So do I want the Flak 1? I'm always a big fan of Flak, but it's kind of a gamble. Because if you get there and you see there's a Vulcan cannon, you're going to be very sad. Well, Flak 1 only costs 65. I'd have 98 scrap left over. I'm gonna get scrap from the fight I'm about to do. And then I can sell shit to make it happen. Alright. I think we're going to buy the Flak 1. Okay. Jump to the quest marker. Uh, there's a fight we're going to have to deal with. They have missiles. God damn it. It's cool. We're going to win. Uh, you're going to help me. That's going to get hacked. We are going to patiently wait. Wasn't able to hit with much. Oh, damn it. I didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Okay, I was not able to take their Mega Missile offline, but I was able to take their weapons offline. Mega Missile, please. Damn. Just saw another one. Missed. Because of high chance of dodge. And we missed with all five of our shots just now. Oh, wow. Just 
everything missed. Wonder how good their engines are. Um, not as good as. Well, actually, they might be as good as mine at this point. Usually, I'm ahead in engines, but they might actually be beating me now. Okay, they're almost dead. I just have to, uh. I, just, I don't want that missile causing problems. Like it just did. Come on, I only need four shots to hit. I know that's a lot, but I only need four shots to hit. Stop hitting with three shots. Stop it, that's insulting. Like, we keep on firing, they're like, huh, your shots are glancing off our shields. We're like, ha, huh? you have no oxygen, and I keep on taking control of your men. So, I'm winning, but it's a Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> And they just took out my weapons. Oh, wow. Took out my weapons, started a fire, stunned my guy in there. You shouldn't have taunted them so early. But I like taunting people. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the mega missile they keep on firing that is the only thing that they have that threatens me whatsoever. Hey, you help me out. Unfortunately, I have, to ch I have to get my chain laser working again. How do you still have missiles left? Jesus. Like, they still have missiles left. It is beyond belief. Are they all dead? Please tell me they're all dead. Yes, they're all dead. Damn. That breach bomb is tempting. We're gonna get it. Okay. Uh, we're going to pick up... We're gonna do a fix there, and that's all I'm gonna do. Because now we really need to focus on getting weapons online. Oh god, this, sh you ha this ship is gonna be so powerful. We're going to kill so many people. I could blow up the whole goddamn world with this thing. Why with the missiles? Why? Okay, you two come join my ship. Where are you? Okay. You get here real quick. Let them do their thing. Kill the doors. Mind control, do they have a mantis in their ship? They do not. Mind control him. Dodge. Hack. So unfortunately we have the same problem as we did just now, in that they um They have level three shields, and we're having trouble getting through them. And unfortunately I do not currently have an easy way to get through level three shields. I don't have my I don't have my flat cannon yet. Luckily, auction is on, right? Yeah. Get all of you guys out of that room real quick. These guys are giving you a lot of trouble. It's it's just the missiles. That's the only thing that concerns me about their ship, and I just I can't get through their, through their shields long enough to get rid of their missiles. Hopefully that's going to change soon. But the missiles are the missiles. You should be hacking their oxygen. I am. I was waiting for hacking to come back online. Because they had, they had hit it with a missile. Uh, you need to be helping me. Damn! It hit my, hit my weapons again. Unfortunately, there's, this, there's a certain threshold that once the missile crosses that threshold... Uh, you cloaking no longer works. I, I see. Yeah. This guy is killing everybody on their ship. Okay, their missiles are offline, and I just killed the both of them. Excellent. Upgrade weapons. Jump to the seventh sector. So we're almost done. We are so close. 
And it's a civilian sector, so maybe you get a little break here. Potentially. Uh, I've always found that civilians, like, green sectors don't mean they're less hard to fight. It's just, well, case in point. Okay, we don't need mind control. So let's pull two points out of that, put those into the flat cannon. So now we're going to start doing really silly things. Tons of shots all at once. Pretty much. Because right now I'm firing three shots out of the flat cannon Mark 1, plus three shots out of the burst laser Mark 2, and two shots out of the chain laser. We do a lot of stupid stuff. Well, that just goes without saying. Mm-hmm. Since it's you. I don't know. I, I, I got it. I got it. You're making fun of me. I got gotcha. it, you. It's just, it's just eating you up inside that I'm winning, huh? No. That you just haven't had all these opportunities to make fun of me? I'm looking for them. <laughs> I know, and you're having really a lot of trouble finding them. I mean, I have made some really silly mistakes in the recent past, but we're winning. Why couldn't you have made them when I was watching? I don't know, that's a very good question. Okay, so in order to run everything at once, including the breach uh, bombs... Is that a breach bomb or a bre breach missile? <laughs> breach bomb. I'm going to have to upgrade my ship's weapon systems up to level 8. Takes a lot of scrap. Okay, you. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You are going to be helping me. Um, and we're going to do that. Okay. That's a big chain weapon. Or not a chain weapon. What? Uh, it's I a charged it laser mark. That's what I meant. Two, I think. I think that's the Mark II. Uh, surprisingly enough, it doesn't scare me. Because while it can do up to four damage to me, it has to hit with everything. The biggest threat off that weapon right now is the way it works with the halberd beam. But it's not incredibly concerning. And the AI never uses it. Uh, actually, the AI was upgraded during the uh, patch to make them a lot more likely to chain weapons together. Like, in a successful and useful way. Yeah, but they keep firing early with oh, their uh, lasers. Well, the lasers tend to fire automatically, so that's kind of a thing the lasers tend to do. <clears throat> However, even though the lasers fire automatically, they tend to charge up the charged lasers to fire at you at the best possible times. Like, see how they're charging up to four now? Last time they only charged up to, like, two. Uh, their oxygen's going away. I said their oxygen is going away. That does not mean you fix your oxygen. It means your oxygen goes away, and then I shoot a lot of stuff at you to make sure it stays away. See? Just like that. They got a med bay up. Doesn't matter. We can just take the asphyxiation strategy and apply that a lot of extra stuff. Rewards, rewards, rewards. Should probably get some power. Okay. We are almost there. We are almost to the level of stupid that we have been aiming for. Now I can always get a Vulcan cannon. It could always happen. It's not going to happen. It could. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I will make sure my enemies do. Okay, let's take their shields down. I think it's the first time I've hacked shields during this entire uh, game so far. Ah, your FTL is delayed. Can you guys put that out, please? I mean, there's three of you there. Thank you. So they have no dodge chance. Your weapons go offline. Got a weakened rip. Like, once we get that breach bomb going, ships like this will be ripped to pieces, because we can hack whatever we want, and then we just rip into them with every weapon in our arsenal. We are 110 levels of frightening. We got intruders on board. I'll 
All the power to you guys. I love having high levels of doors. They're gonna sit there, they're gonna attack the battery for a few seconds until auction runs out of there. Their one friend has already died, and they're gonna die. There's no way they can get through that. Nope. That's the plan. Now we're gonna go this far back. I'm not gonna go all the way back. But what do we got going on here in this plasma? Carefully explore the debris, get a free Pegasus missile, which is awesome. Mostly because it's cell fodder. What's going on way out here in open space? Screw your offer, buddy. I've always been fond of the Pegasus. It is such a good weapon. Do they got a Mantis on their ship? No? Rock. Uh, their ship is frightening for one and only one reason. That Halberd Beam. Actually, sorry, not the Halberd Beam, but the Ion Cannon that they have. Which powers the Halberd Beam. I don't think they're going to get through, though. Uh, there, Unless they get a lucky bomb off. There was potential for it if I hadn't just hit it just now. You with that thing's gonna withdraw from the bank of oxygen. Nope. Okay. Why are you standing in a room that has no oxygen? It's always frightening to be glancing out the corner of your eye and see red. Let him in, because he's just going to fight three people. He's going to die really, really fast. That was a problem. That almost killed Shirai. <coughs> they still have oxygen. I don't like that. You help me out. I just got... God damn it, I just started using that mind control. <laughs> Like, I just activated it, so it just shortened the length of, of activation. Very irritating. We actually did not hit their oxygen. They hit mine, though. It's fine. You're not allowed to have oxygen. Okay, so here's the problem. They now have no health left. To their ship. Gotta hate it when that happens. You're trying to do pro do things. Oh, shit. Well, okay, I can't beat them anyways. It's time to kill them. Because they're, um... Abort. <laughs> their cloning bay was still up. Store. Show it to me. God damn it. Do I want the Pegasus missile? I don't think I want the Pegasus missile. Nope. Go away. Let's get some heals. Not much. Oh, yes. Oh, God, that is sexy. All weapons are now online. I'm going to regret doing that in just about three seconds, aren't I? <laughs> if it has it, I will sell everything to get it. Nope. Okay. There's a fire somewhere. Something's burning. I can sense it. Okay, there it is. Go ahead and open that up. Okay. I would have been really upset if there actually had been a uh, one of those somewhere. Ignore that station. I'm about to get a crap ton of fuel, and I don't need it. Okay, we do need scrap, though, because my... um. Really? This is what they're going to throw me against? Uh, we need to get our shields up to uh, the next level. Everything fired their weapons. I want their weapons gone. Thank you. I'll probably should open that door, too. That's the door that has the issues behind it. Why are their weapons not offline? Thank you. All the way offline. Offline means offline. It means gone. Away. Not currently shooting at me. Okay. 
Contact a civilian ship. No. Do not want. Uh, I should be able to make two more jumps. I think we're gonna win. I do. I think we're gonna win. What did they just fire at me? God damn ion intruder drone. And this room already has no oxygen. Uh, you join my team? Okay, what am I gonna do here? I'm going to breach bomb their shields. We're going to go ahead and flat cannon. Shoot their weapons. Unfortunately, all my guys just died because there's no oxygen in that room, but they got rid of the ion intruder drone. I mean, that's a thing, right? Sure. I just shot down the new one that they just tried to fire at me. Seems like to me that um, that happens a lot more often than it used to. I said the same thing, actually. Apparently that's by design. How is it? Supposedly. According to uh, uh, Trance actually uh, contacted a dev on one of their Twitters and commented on it because I had said I didn't think that was by design and the dev said no it is. Oh. Yeah. So nope, that is by design. It uh, That happens on purpose even as annoying as it is. Won't work that in your favor that time. Yeah, but I've also had times, uh, there was one episode that never got aired because the actual um, do I want to give these guys missiles? Yeah, we'll give them 15 missiles, and they repaired my home. That was not exactly something I would have liked. They Fine. tried to your reactor, too. But yeah, my reactor was full, so they couldn't. Uh, the reason why I don't like that, is there a repair somewhere nearby? There's only two repairs on this map, and one's up top, and one's to my right. Um, there was one uh, run that I did, uh, a really obnoxious one, where <laughs> you teleported right in the middle of three different people who want to kill you. Good job. Um, he did not last long. No, not at all. There was one run that I did that I was running a purely um, drone ship, and um, RGB. Uh, it was it was one of them. Uh, I think it was the NGC actually, because it was for this let's play. And um, can I take their weapons, please, 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 please? Yes. Okay, now we can safely uh, get rid of their oxygen. Um, but yeah, I had uh, lost, I think it was 15 drones in, in less than 30 jumps. All just being shot down while they, were, while they were flying around me. I can't remember exactly what it was that I was running, though. But, like, I had a, um... I had one of these overshield drones that I was relying on to keep me alive because I hadn't had any luck getting anything else. And it just got shot down every time. It got really ridiculous after a while. Stop blowing up my ship. I don't like it. Well, they like it. Nobody asked them. I mean, I didn't ask them. Did you ask them? No. See, so nobody asked them. It doesn't matter if they like it. Nobody wants to hear their opinion. They're rebels. Nobody loves them. Okay, so one guy just died to oxygen loss. They have no oxygen on their ship. We're actually not suffering any damage damage, but they are blowing up pieces of my ship over and over and over. We're almost done, though. Ah, yes, we just won. Hooray! Hooray! Uh, there's a store here. That's a thing. Let's see if I can get to it. <coughs> First, repairs. Upgrade my shields. Okay. So we do have a minor issue here. My engines are not up to snuff. Congratulations, you hacked my battery. Good job, you. Um, 
Yeah, but my engines are not exactly up to snuff. So that could cause problems in the near future. Um, clever use of stealth will help a little bit. Oh yeah, of course it will. But the problem is my engines, notice how I have a 35% chance of evade? Stealth only adds 60%, so there's still a chance that I could still get hit even while being stealthed. Which I'm, I still think that's a stupid concept, but... But yeah, um, there's still a chance I can get hit, so... Just something we have to worry about. Now, if I'm able to get enough scrap, I may be able to make something out of that. I may be able to get engines going, and then use battery to fix the engine problem. It's a possibility. Okay, game. This is the last run I will be doing for a long time. Give me the weapon I want. Damn. Fine, game. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It, do it, it doesn't matter. You know what's going to end up happening? I'm going to beat the pants out of this game. We're going to... I don't think we've ever had a, a ship that is this overpowered. So what's going to happen is we're going to beat the pants out of them. Well, good. <laughs> for the for the final for the final run of FTL until their inevitable next up uh, inevitable next upgrade upload upgrade something like that. Yeah, I don't know what that word was. Okay, this this is uh, this is not a reward uh, scenario, so we're just going to leave as fast as we can. Uh, I should be putting points into that. Taking points out of that and putting that into that. There we go. See, they have the damn weapon that I want. Why can't I have one of those? Come on, game. Let's play fair. They have one. I want one, too. No. I have 105% chance to dodge. Stop. As soon as and you get one, you'll automatically lose. That's actually what has happened in the past. Okay. Let's do this. So their their first action is going to be to cloak up. And they're going to hack my... Uh, uh, that could actually be a problem. Okay. First things first. You do things I want. Put one of that, put that into that. Actually, leave that there. That's fine. You can leave that room. Mm. Cloak. Okay. Good. Reach bomb to their shields. Good. There will be no shields for you. Let me rephrase this. There will be no shields for you. One second, guys. We just lost Z. Okay, dokie. And Z is back. So, unfortunately, they do still have their missile launcher that I haven't been able to take down yet because they did go cloak. It's not going to last long, though. Yeah, taking out the missiles has always been priority one for me. Mm -hmm. Well, their missile launcher is now gone. Their uh, second main cannon is about to go offline. Yep. No, no missile launcher for you. Enough with the missile launcher. Uh, they're actually about to go down. Unfortunately, they didn't have a chance to cloak up again. So what the plan was going to be is that if they got enough like damage on me... I was just gonna have a uh, use the or not enough damage. But they, if they like scared me, I was gonna use the battery to up my um, up my engines. But it just wasn't needed during that fight. It may be needed during the next one though. Any upgrades I need to make? Nope. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. Why are my guys not healing? Damn! I got because you didn't jump. Yeah. Well, I did a wait. I thought a wait counted as a jump. 
Apparently not. That is bad. Okay, that's really bad. Of course he jumps in right there. I mean, it's good that he did. I like that he did. But... You get out of that room. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire off a breach bomb here. We're just going to cloak through the incoming damage. They did hit me with one of those shots. That's okay. I think you'll be alright. Yeah. Damn, I wasn't... Whoa! Okay, that... I'm not sure if that hurt or not. Okay, that launcher is dead. Crap. Okay, three of you need to be in here. You need to not be soaking that damage. Get in here, you get in here. We have a fire raging in here, but my doors will hopefully allow that to not be a problem. I just breached through their uh, drone control. Excellent. God damn. It's that la the laser is the only thing that's causing problems. You, enough with the laser. No, do not let the crew member die, thank you. Cloak through this. Go ahead and drop another breach bomb there. Nope. You're not allowed to fix that. God, we just erupt out of uh, cloaking and just immediately do just <laughs> tons of damage. Just, hey, bitches, we're here. Okay, they're gone. Here's Johnny. That pretty much. Okay. They do have still people left in the ship, so I'm going to upgrade my uh, my doors a little bit. Yeah, they did kind of mess you up, but... It was specifically the laser. That is all that did anything to me. Okay. Let's do it. Come here, bitch. We're ending this. I think it's so cute that he has the super shield. As if it's going to do something. All it does is buy him maybe 10 seconds. A little bit longer than that. This guy's going to try to get through here. Dodge through that. Unfortunately, um, he's going to get probably what's going to amount to a full attack off with this. Yeah. Kind of figured that would hit me because I didn't actually put on my, um... I didn't actually do something about that. Look, or deal with that. Oh, shit. All, all of my, uh... All of my shields are down. I have no way to dodge through this. That's probably going to hit. It did. Okay. It is cool. We're still winning. Get that rid of that. Get rid of that. No more shields for you. Fire. Uh, can you get up here and stop him from breaking that too much? Beautiful, that's all I needed. Okay. We're almost done. We've almost got this. Just need a little bit more. No mind control for you. And we win. That's it. Achievement that was unlocked. Almost painless. Almost. We took a little bit of damage. Full crew. Guess what the point value of that was? Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> that's awful. Forty six seventy five. <clears throat> As a comparison, my my lowest top score on my top five is fifty two twenty. So a ship that powerful only getting 4675 is just awful. Wow. Oh well. Yeah. Well, it's it's a combination of scrap, beacons, ships defeated, crew, uh, I think enemies destroyed. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that goes into the number. But um yeah. Well, ladies and gents, 
exactly on time with when I wanted to finish the series. We are done with Let's Play FTL. Thank you so much for joining me. Z, thanks for joining. I hope I didn't take away too much of your fun by not giving you much to make fun of. That's alright. I can deal with it. Ah, okay. We'll give you more chances to make fun of me in the future. And, folks, we'll see you later.